Ligon delivers the first pitch to Jared Thomas and fouled back it's 0 and 1. Scored 19 runs in defeating and eliminating Maine. This one served in the right center. Leadoff man aboard for the Horns. Thomas a big turn at first. Here comes the throw to second. Offline. And Thomas gets the job done. And some heads up base running. Payoff pitch on the way from Ligon. The punch out. And the first strikeout of the night. He has been locked in after a bit of a slow start. This went deep into the night, deep left field, by the scoreboard, at the track, and it's gone! Over the scoreboard, Dylan Campbell, a two-run jack. Dylan Campbell extends the hitting streak to 37. Gets a pitch up in the zone, and we talked about it. He is a dangerous hitter. He can hit the ball far. And Kilmet caught looking the second strikeout for Carson Liggett. Opposite way, that's a fair baseball. Brown, a big turn at first. Up with it quickly is Viegas, digging for second. There's a throw, and he's safe. Runner goes. And the strikeout, the third of the frame for Carson Ligon. Certainly was earlier today, 19 to 10, as Maine was eliminated. And Capus draws a walk. Leadoff man aboard for the Canes. Literally off the radar. As a junior, throw to third, not in time. Morales is safe as well. And the payoff stays high. Bases are loaded. Boy, oh, Blake Sear has something to say. The slow trot down to first base. Popped it up. Right side of the infield. Who wants it? Thomas. With the infield fly rule in effect. And stayed, stayed open on that last slider. Oh. Got him. Johnson battles back, his first strikeout, and it's an enormous one. 81% of the time, those are the programs that advance to the next round. Oh, down with a charge, deep into the night, at the wall, and it's gone. Sixth home run of the season. Jack O'Dowd. Jack O'Dowd, wow, 106 miles an hour off the bat. The fastball is left out over the plate, and he did not miss it. Going 415, got to see the ball up here. Served that one into center field, and it's down for a hit straight in front of Kennedy. Good piece of hitting that time by Don Patelli. And he comes in low and inside. Second time tonight, Capus has been given a free pass. Up the middle. And the throw to second, not in time. O'Dow tried to get it. Viegas credited with the single, that last A.B. Fly ball down the right field line. Tracking is Campbell. Foul territory. And enough room to make the grab. He is a solid baseball player. Grounded over to third, Morales at the hot corner. And it hit Campbell right as he touched the bag. And the runner goes from second, and this one stabbed out of the air by the second baseman, Sear. Because it seemed like the ball was always behind you. And Schlesinger hit Kennedy. <laughs> Absolutely not. Quite painful. Chopper, that'll get through up the middle for a base hit. Duplantier waved home. Oh. He's going to score. And the throw offline coming from Jacoby Long. And the Horns are in business once again. It is 4 0. Got him. And the strikeout by Schlesinger. And Patelli, a charge to left field. And at the wall, that one's gone. Brown jumped up, couldn't bring it in. And Miami is on the board. It's four to one.
Oh, Dom Patelli doing it with the glove and here. This is what Gino DeMari talks about with Dom Patelli. You got to put a little pizzazz in it. This is right up the middle. Gilmet is aboard. Well, you talk about guts, you talk about toughness. Took one in the face at 90 miles an hour. It looks like it's going to hit you, and by the time you go swing, it's off the plate. Kennedy up the middle, right past Schlesinger. And the force out at second retires the side. But Penn may be an early story this year. Rocket down the right field line. That's a fair baseball. And Mitchell Daly heading to second base with a two-out double. had today because of rain kind of pushing everything back third strikeout for Rave Schlesinger and Texas strands a runner in scoring position the immaculate inning times 10 Powell strikes out Schlesinger now with four strikeouts it's Louisiana strikes out here and Schlesinger back-to-back -back strikeouts now with five tonight coming out of the Miami bullpen and Gilmet fights that one off into right field to keep the inning alive for the Horns. His second hit of the night, third time aboard. Browns one for three. Make it one for four. And a new career high for Rafe Schlesinger. Six strikeouts out of the bullpen. Dylan Campbell a home run. Jack O'Dowd one as well. And here we are at four to one. Jacoby Long flies out to left field. Both times that has happened in the month of May and a strikeout at 95 straight gas top of the order CJ Kafis through the four hole and with two outs Miami keeps this inning alive and Johnson's also done a pretty good job of just scattering those five hits a little dribbler over to first and the tag will be applied Viegas did all he could I mean there's a chance to bring home a couple of world titles Kennedy back to Schlesinger for out number one. Now at number seven, the punch out of Jack O'Dell. And a one, two, three frame for Rafe Schlesinger. As you take a look at the total appearances in Omaha in this regional, all four programs have made it to the College World Series. Texas and Miami, no two other teams in America have made it more often. Yolandi Morales on the first pitch. Grounds out to O'Dowd at second. Miami's running out of outs. Johnson not running out of gas. And again, the strikeout. And a liner. Left field. Sliding grab is not made. Brown could not come up with it. Levinson digging for third. Relay throw. Offline. And the Canes are in business for the moment with Levinson standing at third base. Zach just hit a triple. That's what they'll call that one. Back to Johnson. And a quick toss to first to retire the side. Only run of the night for the Hurricanes off the bat of Dominic Patelli, a solo shot to left field. Schlesinger continues his outstanding work. Eight strikeouts tonight in six and two-thirds innings. Part of the plate and the punch out. Ninth of the night for Rafe Schlesinger. One more win for tonight's winner. Going to the Supers. Patelli. Other things on his mind. Lead off man aboard for the Hurricanes. And here we go. He can close it out strong. Part of the plate and the punch out. Caught him looking. Eighth strikeout for LeBaron Johnson. Paxson School. Baron Johnson could be two. O'Dow over to short. Back to first. In time in Texas. Does it. LeBaron Johnson does it. A complete game for the Longhorns. What a performance by LeBaron Johnson.